if you commit suicide or not. I am Dr. Anaka. I am coming from Trishur, Kerala. I am a physiotherapist by profession and full-time worker of Arshavidya Samajam. Before two years, uh, I too went through a stage of conversion and uh, like Shalini Unnikrishnan, that character, my life was also changed upside down during my hostel days. Even though I was born and brought up in a practicing Hindu family, I was not at all aware about why I am doing all these things or I was unaware about my dharma and uh, when I went for my higher studies, I left home and uh, joined uh, in Ernakulam in a college and I stayed in a hostel there and uh, like Asifa, I too had many uh, roommates. The conversion strategy, what shown in the film is exact not a bit exaggeration I must say that it is exact because they themselves create a situation and slowly inject or slowly started to uh, say about their religion between the normal conversations itself between us religion came a topic and they started us questioning first they will ask questions they will put you in confusion and at that confused state they will start criticizing our religion, that is our gods. The same exact questions, why are you having this much gods? Why are you praying to a stone? So much uh, questions they keep on asking. And uh, because of we are unaware about why, why we are following all these things or I, I was unaware about my dharma. So I couldn't answer any of those questions. When they notice that we are interested, they will give more books, that is Quran translations, that, uh, that is called Tafsir and also they started to share videos of Zakir Naik and Emma Akbar and all. Slowly, gradually my brain was fed up with this radicalized ideology. I started to believe that none of the ideologies except Islam is right and not only right, I started hating. My parents tears, my family's tears was not at all bothering me. They kept on crying and fall to my feet and uh, said, please don't go away. I started all uh, practices that is followed by Muslim that I was living like a Muslim woman. My father and mother came to me and fall into my feet and said that, please don't go away. If you go away, we will commit suicide. I told to them, anyway, you are going to die as kafirs. You are going to be put in hell. It does not bother me if you commit suicide or not. I was really rude to them. I was escaped just because my parents' prayers or whatever it is. But what the film showed, what strategy they tried to expose in front of public is real. Please don't say that it is some agenda. Agenda.